crisis down the road, and not just the crisis in a monetary sense, the humanitarian crisis as well. So you know, that's why this is such an important event. Now, our office did not do the work here. You know, the, the real thanks goes to the Alzheimer's Association for coming to us early um, in this year and saying, yeah, we'd like to partner with your office, we'd like to partner with UC Davis, and take those resources out to the community and really ask the community to, to come in and provide them with the resources that are out there and start the education process and, and the awareness process. So if we could give a, a round of applause to the Alzheimer's Association. <laughs> I'm not going to take too much time because you're not here to hear me speak, but you're here to listen to the experts uh, talk about um, Alzheimer's disease, talk about the science behind it, and, and potentially where we want to head. But I, I stand here before you as, as an advocate, someone who will continue to fight um, for that funding to make those investments in uh, research and development and really push forward. So. You know, as a doctor, it is always better to diagnose disease early, treat disease early, and prevent disease. And there's a lot that, that we can do. And that is where our focus has to be. So you know, we live in a, a great region, Sacramento, that has um, remarkable resources. What makes us such a special place is that we are this community of folks looking after one another. And you know, I want to thank the organizations that are here as well and the vendors that have programs to serve the needs of not just um, individuals with Alzheimer's disease, but also those that are aging and, and so forth. And we're blessed to live in a region that has so many great organizations. So I would say before you um, we certainly make sure you visit the, the various vendors and so forth. So without taking up any more time, I actually would um, say let's go ahead and move on with the program. So thank you.